Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you in this very quick QuickBooks online tip how to categorize multiple bank transactions uh, at the same time. And this is actually really, really easy. Uh, you just have to make sure that all of the transactions are for the same supplier and the same account. Uh, so let's uh, let's go ahead and see how that works. You'll see here that I have some transactions downloaded into this account. Um, and uh, I have a bunch of transactions for parking. And so I want to allocate these. First, I want to add a supplier uh, to the uh, to the transaction. And then I want to put it all to the same account. But rather than going through and individually adding each one, I can actually add them all at the same time. So let us uh, do that. I am going to click on the check mark here. And then I'm going to press down on my shift key on my computer and again, select the check mark and you'll see that it does all of them. So I don't have to go in and individually uh, uh, check each one. So you'll see that this little black box shows up and I can accept them all as is, uh, as uncategorized expenses, which I do not want, or I can edit them. So let's click on edit. The type of transaction in this case is an expense and the customer name is, uh, I am going to create a city of Montreal, save it. And then the account that I'm going to select is parking. You can choose automobile expenses uh, if that if you don't have that many parking uh, charges, uh, or you can create a new account for parking. You can also add a tag if you'd like to further categorize it. Remember, you can have, create reports on tags. The tax in this case is going to be uh, GST QST because parking in Quebec is in fact taxable. And if it relates to one customer, then you can select the customer, assuming this is toggled. And you might not have class or customer depending on which version of QuickBooks you're using. Uh, and you can also click on this little billable. So that's pretty much it. It's really important that you reflect the tax code, otherwise it will not uh, allow you to enter the transaction. Uh, and obviously the type of expense, the supplier name is always good to have in the account. So click on apply and accept. And that's it. And then it'll prompt you for a rule and you can create the rule if you would like. Uh, or you could just continue to do it in the way that we discussed. So that's essentially how you categorize multiple transactions. You can save a ton of time with this. Uh, and it's one of my uh, favorite features in QuickBooks Online. So I hope this was useful. Please leave a comment if you have any questions or just say hi. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe and I will see you next time.